And I skip the, the points. We don't really need to know about the, the score. The score doesn't matter in any game. In fact, why do they start doing scores? Like, it doesn't make any sense. The score... I, don't, I never did understand the score. I mean, sure, some games... Some games you need score for, okay? But not like every game needs a score. There's no reason for some games to have a have a score. At all. Like this game. Or most adventure games. They shouldn't have a score. It doesn't make any sense. But what I liked about this game is that, you know, it encouraged exploring, kind of, you know. Most games are like, you know, get to the goal. This game's like, you know, will give you a bonus if you explore the level. Which I more than likely will not do, because this game does get frustrating if you attempt to try to 100% it. And I, ow. I don't believe I've ever actually 100% in this game. Therefore, I will probably not. It's not fun. And especially if you're someone like me who misses the obvious a lot, probably not best for me to try and 100% anything. At all. But, I can tell you where all the secrets are. I can definitely tell you that. I can definitely tell you that. And this camera sucks. Did we just burp? Hold up. Why did we burp? And how can I burp again? I don't remember how we burped. Oh man. Alright. But you really do have to take care of the ball, dude. If you lose the ball, you die. If you lose the ball, you die in real life. And everything you do can and will affect the ball. Luckily, we have checkpoints like this. Okay, I, I hope this turns out smooth for you guys, because me playing it in full screen is not smooth. It is actually like trying to play this in 30 FPS, and it's making me kind of motion sick. You know, you, you ever get that sometimes where something you playing something, right? And something doesn't move quite as smooth as it should. And I don't think vertical sync necessarily helps the problem, but you ever just get that issue that something runs a little bit slower than normal and your eyes can tell and it just it just makes you dizzy. Maybe that's just me, but I swear to God, the choppiness is affecting my eyes. Hey, so that's the checkpoint. You have to throw your ball through those to, to get the checkpoints. And no, no fall death, not today. Crap. See, that, that wasn't intentional. That was 100% not intentional. Great. No, 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 no. Hold up. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Gotta deal with old clunky N64, you know, type controls here. It's fine. It's fine. You get more points when you run over run over these relics with the ball. Hey, we got time for that. If I'm gonna get the relics, I'm gonna get them with me, myself, and I. Fuck the ball. We could keep the ball somewhere else. I saw some extra relics hiding on the edge of that cliff. Don't think I didn't see that. But they really try to hide stuff really, really well. Sometimes really well, sometimes really annoyingly well. Like this ledge. Kind of annoying ledge to find, but you know. Again, expiration. This game made me feel smart back in the day when I was trying to perfect these puzzles. Does it still make me feel smart? Sure. Why not? I'm controlling a freaking ball, protecting it from getting popped and or broken and or shattered and or f flung off a cliff because that can happen. This is only the first level though, so none of this matters. At all, but I love the music. That's another reason. But then it, that's a, like a reason for every game I play, I feel like. I usually end up liking the music of games that I play a lot, usually. Okay, can we, can we change this to a bowling ball, please? Thank you, okay. But it, do, it does kind of teach you about, you know, Using different types of balls in different types of situation. Pause. 
You, you know what I mean, though. Stop making jokes. I know. I said balls. Get over it. Yo, you want the ball to stay still? Use a fucking bowling ball. You want the ball to bounce? Use the bouncy ball. You want the ball just to get around? Use the little metal ball thing that I still have no clue what this is. No clue. No complaints though. Alright. Now this bit's a little bit dangerous, so we're gonna need to leave you there, ball friend. While I get the rest of these relics. Oh, playing with the camera on narrow paths. Such fun. Oh, God. Why do you do this? But, Dan, why don't you just complete the level? Shh, it's not fun that way. You gotta, you gotta... Okay, okay, hang on. We're gonna have to crawl here. We're gonna have to use the crawl feature. That's why it's there. To get past annoying ledges that would otherwise be annoying to get past because you can't walk. I mean, you can, but you can't. You know what I mean? The, the controls are a little bit too slippery. And it's not an actual N64 controller, so, you know. It's kind of hard to just walk. Or, like, barely tilt the control stick, so. This is what we have to do. Potion! Now we are Buff Glove. We can do whatever we want. Like, push this thing. And then get on top of said thing. And get all the relics on top. Which I think we need the ball for. Hey, we're gonna need another potion. Hey, we're gonna need another potion. Pardon me. Alright, have me get on top of the ball, I don't remember. See? Nope. There's a way to get on the ball. Well, besides doing this, which is, you know, the apparent. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Fucking reverso controls, dude. They're annoying. They're much more annoying than it looks. God damn it. Gonna run out. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe if I just jump from here. You know what? I need it. One more time. One more time. From the top. Okay. Jump on top. You double jump. And it doesn't work. There we go. Gotta nearly glitch the game just to get on top of here. Seems like. Dunzo. Got it. Oh, there's fall damage. Oh, that's a feature I completely forgot was in this game. I totally didn't think there was fall damage. This game doesn't look like it would have fall damage. I mean, you're using a ball. You just use the ball to break your fall, but shows what I know. Yes. The Mario 64 had fall damage. Most of these platformers have fall damage. Donkey Kong 64 has fall damage. I'm gonna think there's not one adventure platformer that doesn't have fall damage. And I like how it's taking me at least four times the length it should take me to do this level. It's because I'm trying to get all the things. This is why when you try to perfect the game, you go slow. But there's nothing wrong with going slow in this game. There's no time limit. The game's not going to instantly kill you for taking 9 minutes and 59 seconds. Cough, cough, Sonic. It's like you just don't go fast enough for Sonic. And all of a sudden, you just get screwed over for it. They just kill you. That's dumb. I mean, it's not dumb, but it's dumb at the same time. I love Sonic with all my heart, but... Sometimes when you take... You gotta play a level, man. You can't just time somebody trying to get through a level for the first time. It make no sense. Come here. Die. I'm getting these relics on my own. Don't worry, the ball's in a safe place, guys. You don't gotta worry about a thing. <clears throat> now we see our true enemy, Spikes. Which we will have to navigate through, I think. 
But I think I mean I'm positive. <laughs>